Hi, this is Shucheta Koshal. I'm from Kolkata. I work as a developer in the language engineering team of Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, most importantly, I love helping people use their computers and the languages they're most comfortable with. Uh, my talk at JSFU is on how your web apps should talk not just in English, but in Spanish, Cantonese, Swahili, and Oshomiya too. Uh, essentially, if you don't know English, a majority of the internet is not particularly accessible to you right now. You might stumble around and find your way just like an American tourist lost in the middle of Beijing or something like that which is not particularly a very pleasant experience. So to give your users a better experience, your web apps should be available in languages, whatever languages they most prefer. Uh, this is actually a very good idea because this would also open up a new set of audiences which were not particularly possible before. And uh, as a developer, I'd say that this is not really that hard. Open source applications have been doing this for quite a while now and have been doing this quite successfully. And your applications could do it too. This talk is to show you how. Uh, I'll be focusing on front-end ITNN. This talk is an introduction to ITNN. So I'll be talking about what ITNN and ITNN are, why you should do it, how you should do it, and how arguably the largest multilingual website available right now, Wikipedia, and its sister projects are doing it. So to talk about how to use ITNN from JavaScript, I'll be using jQuery.ime, a very nice library created by the language engineering team of Wikimedia Foundation. We'll also talk a little bit about the language selections and how to do it right uh, with the universal language selector, which was also developed by uh, the language engineering team of Wikimedia Foundation. So that's it. I hope to see you there. <laughs>